Every animal in the world has its own unique way of giving birth. While fish generally reproduce by laying eggs, not all species follow the same method. In fact, some of these methods are truly astonishing and sometimes baffling ways. This is how these 10 fish lay eggs. Number 10, Clownfish. Clownfish, whether you're thinking of the colorful little fish from the Indian Ocean, Red Sea, and Pacific, or the infamous clowns like Krusty Bozo or the villain from it, have a distinctive look. Their bright orange face paint and body markings make them instantly recognizable, especially around the Great Barrier Reef. But these guys have more than just a striking appearance. Clownfish form symbiotic relationships with sea anemones, protecting one another from predators. The clownfish aggressively defend their territory, even chasing and teasing females in a playful way that strangely works. Eventually, the females lay eggs in the safety of the anemones, where they're protected by the clownfish's bright yellow medieval mace-like defense. Interestingly, clownfish are immune to the poisonous stings of anemones, a phenomenon marine biologists are still trying to fully understand. Before we continue, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Now it's time for the prime topic. When it comes to seahorses, it's the males who carry and give birth. The male seahorse has a special pouch on his stomach, much like a kangaroo, which he uses to carry the babies, sometimes as many as 2,000 at a time. A seahorse pregnancy lasts anywhere from 10 to 25 days, after which he lays the eggs. These eggs hatch inside the pouch, where the father continues to carry them until they grow into young seahorses ready to swim off on their own. As always, share your thoughts with us in the comments and let us know what you think of this amazing sea creature. Now, let's move on to the next one. Number 9. Tilapia Tilapia might sound like some kind of dessert, but it's actually a type of fish, though you probably already guessed that from the theme of this video. Specifically, the Mozambique tilapia, which is native to Mozambique but also found in Malawi, South Africa, Swaziland, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, making it quite the cosmopolitan fish. Tilapia are also known for being polygamous, living in a free love sort of world. They're not the kind of fish you'd expect to find at church on a Sunday. Even more interesting, tilapia reproduce year-round, and they do it in a very unique way, they are mouth brooders. This means that after the female lays her eggs, she gathers them in her mouth, where the male fertilizes them. Talk about an unconventional method. The female carries the fertilized eggs in her mouth, sometimes spitting them out to feed before collecting them again, until they're ready to venture out into the world on their own. Number 8. Oscar Fish Known to aquarium owners as one of the most intelligent fish, Oscar Fish are remarkable. They have excellent memories, can learn tricks, and even recognize different people, knowing exactly who their owner is. These colorful fish, often black with bright red scales, also come in shades of blue, yellow, or even albino with red eyes. They can grow up to a foot in length, so they require plenty of space in an aquarium. But don't be fooled by their smarts. Oscar fish are aggressive during breeding season, killing any other fish that come too close. Even their courtship is violent, often resembling a dramatic scene from an 80s soap opera. But when the aggression subsides, Oscar fish are attentive parents, caring for their fry until they're ready to face the aquarium world on their own. Number 7. Squid Let's set aside the fish part for a moment, because squid deserve their own spotlight. After all, who could resist the allure of these charismatic cephalopods? Squid are mysterious, sometimes terrifying creatures. If you ever find yourself on a boat at night, shout release the kraken and watch everyone panic. Trust me, it works. Giant squid, in particular, are an enigma we still don't know how big they can truly get. When they reproduce, squid lay their eggs in egg cases, which the mothers gather together to form something that resembles a flower. Sadly, both parents die shortly after mating, leaving the tiny squid to fend for themselves. But if they manage to survive the perils of squid youth, they can grow into massive giants, measuring 30 feet or more, ready to feast on their favorite meal, rum marinated sailors. Number 6. Siamese Fighting Fish Also known as betta fish, these colorful creatures have an equally colorful mating process. 
If you want to impress your aquarium-loving friends, just mention you have a betta fish, it'll make you popular in no time. When a male betta fish is ready to reproduce, he builds a bubble nest at the top of the tank. Soon, a female will swim by to check it out. If she's impressed by his bubble-making skills, they'll mate, and the male will push the fertilized eggs into the bubbles. Inside the bubbles, the eggs are kept clean and oxygenated. The male guards this floating fortress with his life, pushing the eggs back into the bubbles if they fall out. But once the fry hatch and leave the nest, the father betta swims off to pursue other beta interests, leaving the babies to fend for themselves. Number 5. Anglerfish Anglerfish might not win any beauty contests, but this deep-sea predator has a unique way of luring its prey. A fleshy, tentacle-like growth hangs from its head like a fishing line, complete with a glowing tip that attracts unsuspecting victims straight into its gaping jaws. Despite their terrifying appearance, even anglerfish need to reproduce. In this species, it's all about female domination. The females are much larger than the males, who are so tiny that scientists once mistook them for parasites. The male must attach himself to a female to survive. If he fails, he will die. Once attached, the male becomes part of the female's portable harem. After mating, the female lays her eggs in a large sheet of transparent, gelatinous material that can be up to 30 feet long. Each egg has its own little space, floating in the sea until it's ready to hatch. Number 4. Arowana If you're starting to notice that many fish have violent romances, you're right. The arowana is no exception. This fish prefers a courtship filled with chasing and biting, where love is basically another excuse to hurt each other. Whatever issues these fish have, they certainly need an aquatic Sigmund Freud. After their aggressive session is over, they'll lie side by side, a rare cute moment, before attacking anything that comes too close. When the female is ready, she lays a slow stream of eggs on the riverbed, which the male fertilizes. After that, the male scoops all the eggs into his mouth, where they'll hatch. The baby arowanas will venture out and return to dad's mouth until they're strong enough to swim on their own. Although it seems like excellent parenting, dad sometimes accidentally swallows a few of his babies. Number 3. Puffer Fish The white-spotted puffer fish knows how to put on a show when it comes to attracting a mate. These fish create stunning geometric patterns in the sand, showcasing their impressive design skills to potential female partners. To a female puffer fish, nothing is more enticing than a skilled architect. But building an intricate sand structure underwater is no easy feat, it requires constant maintenance, or else it will be washed away. If a male succeeds, though, a female might decide to check out his nest. If she approves, they vibrate together, and she lays her eggs in a carefully crafted nest. Interestingly, once one female is impressed, it seems to draw others as well. A successful puffer fish can mate with multiple females in his beautiful sand palace in a short span of time. However, after the females leave, he's left alone to care for countless offspring from various mothers, defending the nest from predators like a tragic hero in a Victorian novel. And so, the cycle repeats with each breeding season. Number 2. Splash Tetra The Splash Tetra, a tropical freshwater fish from South America, has one of the most fascinating reproductive behaviors. Here, the males take full responsibility for child rearing while the females relax. During breeding season, the male finds the perfect spot with overhanging leaves and waits for a female to arrive. When she does, they both leap from the water and cling to the leaf with their pelvic fins for up to 10 seconds. In that brief moment, the female releases her eggs, and the male fertilizes them. Once the deed is done, they fall back into the water, only to repeat the process until around 200 eggs are laid. Afterward, the female swims away, leaving the male to splash water on the eggs every couple of minutes to keep them moist and clean. He diligently continues this task for up to 72 hours until the fairy hatch and drop into the water. His job done, the male can finally rest. Number 1. Apple Snail Apple snails are fascinating creatures, and, unlike most of our aquatic stars, they aren't fish, they're gastropods. 
These snails are freshwater animals with both gills and lungs, making them true amphibians. Common in aquariums, they are also considered a delicacy in Mexico, where they're called tigagalo. But maybe don't snack on your friend's pet snails, it's a bit rude. Before mating, these snails bury themselves in mud to prepare for the task. Once they mate, females can store the sperm for months, allowing them to reproduce whenever they feel ready. Over the course of several weeks, an apple snail can lay a clutch of eggs every four to seven days. With such prolific breeding, it might be wise to prepare some extra room in the snail tank. Could you ever imagine your ideal relationship resembling any of these wild underwater creatures? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out the other cool videos popping up on your screen right now. See you next time.